In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. We pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord, you are loving and merciful, so we call out to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son we may abound in good works. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. During the time young Samuel was ministered to the Lord under Eli, a revelation of the Lord was uncommon and vision infrequent. One day Eli was asleep in his usual place. His eyes had lately grown so weak that he could not see. The lamp of God was not yet extinguished. And Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. The Lord called to Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you, Eli said. Go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again, the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said. You called me. But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord, because the Lord had not yet revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am. You called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So Eli said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are, if you are called, reply. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. Thus all Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, came to know that Samuel was an accredited prophet of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped toward me and heard me cry. Blessed the man who makes the Lord his trust, who turns not to idolatry or to those who stray after falsehood. Here, Here I am, Lord, Lord I, come I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not. Put ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here, Here I am, Lord, Lord. I, I come, come to, to do your Lord. will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, for of my, oh my God is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here, Here I, I am, Lord, Lord. I, come I come to, to do, do your will. will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, no. Here, am Here I, I am, Lord, I come, I come to, to do, do your, your will. will. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory Glory to you, o Lord. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. 
the whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. When I hear the, uh, the story about Samuel and how he is called as a prophet, the image that comes to mind for me is uh, when you use binoculars, you, know, you first look into the binoculars and everything is a complete blur. And then you have to start working with the, the one ocula to get it clear. And then when you open the other eye, it's blurry again until you work the middle one until it all comes into focus. And so it is that sometimes God calls us, not like he called Paul by knocking him off his horse immediately, but in, in stages, the way Samuel was called, and things become clearer as, as things progress. More often than not, that is how God calls most of his servants, all of us, that we only get small glimpses and it becomes clearer and clearer as we go on, as we focus a little bit more, as we learn to listen to his voice in our hearts as we learn to accept his message in our souls, things begin to become more clear for us. Let us pray that the Lord would continue to speak, that the Lord would continue to reveal himself, and that we will continue to focus on him so that our vision of him may become clear. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> As we seek to hear and respond to God's call, let us offer our prayers to our Father in heaven. For the leaders of the church, may the Holy Spirit illuminate and direct their actions as they strive to serve the people of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For our national and local representatives, may God help them see with clarity what is good and true for the good of those they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the sick, especially those struggling with chronic illness, may God bring them healing of mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this community of faith, may the Lord bless us with the eyes and heart of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have died marked with the sign of faith, May they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by the communion of saints, especially for Jim McGinn being remembered at this mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For whom else shall we pray? Our God, continue blessing on our friend Andrew on his day before his birthday. And we bless him today and his family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we offer our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us through Christ the Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, blend with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Jim, remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In confidence, we pray now as our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day, all. Good day, Father.